So interestingly enough, we now have a new AI tool that basically will kind of replicate a little bit of what ChatGPT was trying to do. The reason why DeepSeek right now is kind of competing with ChatGPT and why a lot of people are flocking to this particular application is because of, I guess, the amount of improvements that this particular app could end up giving you, I guess, at a much lower cost basis for DeepSeek to kind of, you know, do than ChatGPT. ChatGPT costs a lot more money to maintain and run than DeepSeek, but is it better? I don't really know. Well, we're going to have to check out throughout the rest of this video. One thing, though, is that when you take a look at these applications, they're very similar. They're just AI assistants. They're just chatbots that allow you to kind of get more information and allow you to do things. Now, right now, ChatGPT is still way more popular, 1.5 million ratings versus the 597 ratings on the iPhone version of DeepSeek. If you actually take a look at the size, though, this was something that was very interesting. The size of ChatGPT is 76.9 megabytes when you first initially download it. DeepSeek is 36.5 megabytes. So DeepSeek is already like less than half the size of ChatGPT on your initial download. That doesn't necessarily mean it's going to be like that forever. It's probably going to grow. But also, when you take a look at languages, DeepSeek supports 71 plus languages. ChatGPT supports 59 plus languages. So that is also a very interesting thing going on there. Now, when you first open up the applications, you're going to see that there's pretty much, the layout is very similar on both. So you can see right here, ChatGPT and DeepSeek, very similar type of layout. The only difference here though, as far as I can tell, is that with DeepSeek, you have this prompt right in the middle. ChatGPT is just this prompt, like it's just the ChatGPT logo, which I actually kind of like that a little bit more than DeepSeek, if I'm being honest. Now I do have some example prompts that I wanted to go ahead and kind of throw in here. So these aren't anything super crazy. They're pretty basic type of, you know, examples that I just wanted to kind of toss in. So I'm going to go ahead and just do them on both. Explain AI like I was a beginner. So I did kind of mess this one up because I just completely messed up when I was speaking. But you can see they're generating the response. My initial response was explain AI like I was a beginner. And you can see both of them actually gave pretty big answers for the most part. You can see that within the, you know, DeepSeeks application, this text is a little bit lighter than with ChatGPT. Not the biggest deal in the world, but that was one thing that I did kind of notice is that within ChatGPT, I like the way the text looks here, but you can see the layout is almost identically the same. Also, it doesn't look like DeepSeek bolds any text as you can see. So that's the only other thing. I think it's easier to read and it looks nicer on ChatGPT's application, but it does look like DeepSeek gave me a lot more information and it's still writing. Whereas on ChatGPT, it's more concise. But that could be a cool thing here, right? That could be a nice thing going on for DeepSeek if you want more information that way. Now, another one that I wanted to ask them was basically about a workout plan. So now I'm going to go ahead and get back into the voice to text and I'm going to basically ask them another basic question. So this one is going to be, can you give me a weekly workout plan for building muscle? So now if we go and take a look at what's going on here, you might be able to see that between both. They both took around the same time to actually go ahead and start, you know, typing. Again, this text on DeepSeek, I'm not a fan of. Maybe you can actually change that in settings, but that is one thing that I did kind of notice. Now, DeepSeek is still going through where ChatGPT is basically done. So I think ChatGPT is just overall still, I think, faster to kind of give their responses. And I think it's more concise. With, with uh, DeepSeek, you can see that it's still going, and now it actually went through and changed up. So now it's actually going through after I said it, it's going through and actually making this bold text and this other type of text. So this is what I would rather have preferred. So I don't know why I was doing that. Maybe there's a reason for that. Otherwise, though, you can see that as far as I know, DeepSeek is actually going through and giving me like an actual full on like weekly thing to do here. Whereas on, I guess ChatGPT did it right here too. This one was just a little bit more concise and more faster. So that right there is another pretty interesting thing. Now, the actual context of this text Again, it's going to be, I guess, the same thing. It's going to be giving varying information because there's not really one right answer here. But that was a very interesting thing that kind of ended up happening here. Now, the next one I want to go and give it is basically a, just a prompt of me going into a city and it explaining to me a few things to kind of do there. So then the next one is going to be pretty basic. I'm going to New York City this weekend. Can you give me three places I have to go to? So now with this response, if I go and send it, you can see that between both. I think, you know, both took a, you know, a little bit of time for it to go. Now, I don't know what DeepSeek just ended up doing here where it said continue. Maybe I accidentally stopped it. So in this case, I will go ahead and just continue it. 
and it looks like a little bit of an issue there for the most part nothing crazy but that was one thing that just ended up kind of happening there and i do have web and i do have this one deep think are on one enabled as well so maybe that changed it up a little bit so this is something that was interesting right you can see I, I experienced this yesterday too. I was making a video yesterday about DeepSeek and the same thing kind of happened where it was just kind of taking a little bit longer for it to actually, you know, kind of do something. So not really too sure. Maybe this is just a glitch or something like that, but I did experience it yesterday too. But DeepSeek is just an application just getting started. But you can see ChatGPT was already pretty much done by the time I actually started it up. So I will go ahead and stop this one for the time being and we'll go and start a new chat. So this next one is going to be more coding related. So this next one is gonna be pretty basic. Can you write Python code that calculates two numbers that are inputted? So now sending this one, again, a very basic type of prompt. You can see on ChatGPT, it's giving me a lot of basically, you know, my code right there, and I'm pretty sure it's going to work if I were to run this. On the DeepSeek side, it's, I guess, I, I think it writes out what it's supposed to do, and then it gives the prompt after. I think that's probably what's going on here. But you can see on ChatGPT, it already gave me the code like this. I can go ahead and actually just copy and paste it. It's kind of more straight to the point. This one, I don't even know. I don't need to know all this information. I just want the code, right? So I wonder if there's something there. I don't know if I'm doing something wrong, if these prompts aren't supposed to be, but I guess not because it finally gave me the code at the end. So I think the information is right on DeepSeek, but it just takes a long time to get there sometimes, right? So it does give me a little bit more information here and there. Like you could have seen in the beginning, it was giving more info, like information, but it just takes a long time for it to kind of get to the point where in reality, all I needed was just this code right here, which is probably, I mean, even then, like <laughs> this is a longer, I mean, this is more code than this one. Maybe they both work or I don't know, but that was another thing that kind of happened. Now, the last one is a little bit more complicated and I'm going to end off here because this one's probably going to take a while, but it's not even really that complicated. So this one is just going to be more code but just importing a file and different things like that. So can you write Python code that imports an image and rotates it? So now with this one, again, nothing crazy. You know, it's a, I mean, it's more complicated than the one before, but let's go and see how this, so ChatGPT is already done. So ChatGPT has already gone through it's given me exactly kind of like a you know example statement. It's given me exactly the Python package to install. And then it's already given me the code right here too. So again, the same prompt right here, you can see it's telling me to pip install this, which is supposed to be done. It's giving me the sample code, which the code on DeepSeek seems to be more, but I don't know, it looks, maybe it's not, I don't know, this is probably layouted differently. And then it eventually kind of goes into it. But you can see how much faster ChatGPT still is rather than DeepSeek. Right? DeepSeek took a long time to get to the answer. And maybe, again, it takes you know a little bit more time and you know it's a newer product. But I think the situation that's going on here is that the DeepSeek product is not better than ChatGPT, right? Like it takes a long time to get to the responses. Sometimes the responses don't work. And you know, it just kind of gives me a lot of information that I don't really need. But that's not really, I guess, why DeepSeek is so popular right now, right? ChatGPT costs significantly more money to make than DeepSeek. But I made this example yesterday, right? Like if ChatGPT, let's say DeepSeek costs, you know, let's say it's like 10 or 20% of the product of what ChatGPT is. Let's say DeepSeek is 20% as good as, you know, ChatGPT. The reason why this is so interesting is that it doesn't cost 20% from what we know. It doesn't cost 20% of the money to get DeepSeek as it is the ChatGPT. So imagine having DeepSeek with the funding as something like ChatGPT. Maybe it goes so much better. I don't know. But that's what we're seeing right now. Hopefully that makes some sense to you. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button. Know me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.